Hi, my name is Cindy Seitz Krug and I'm a teacher for AQS and we are at the Phoenix Quilt Week event. And um, I have a special exhibit this week. Um, I have 31 of my quilts here and the exhibit is called Quintessential Quilting. And these are just a couple of the quilts here that I'm exhibiting. This quilt is a whole cloth quilt that I did about five or six years ago. It's called Linda's Folly and it's all done on my home sewing machine. I have a Bernina 440. The most challenging aspect of this quilt to me was actually designing the pattern. So that took a long time to draw it out on paper and figure out what I was gonna put where. But it was a lot of fun and um, I named it after my friend Linda because she said I needed to do a large whole cloth quilt. So I called it Linda's Folly after her. And it won a Best Machine Quilting at an AQS show in Tennessee. So I'm really proud of that. And this hand applique quilt is called Because of Cameron. And Cameron is my son. And when he was born, I needed a hand project to work on because I knew I couldn't have a toddler in the sewing room with pins and rotary cutters and all that. So I wanted some hand blocks to work on. So I started it when he was born in 1999. Like I said, all the blocks are hand applique. It's not my original design, but um, it is a beautiful pattern. And um, it took me actually six years to finish it. So it's called Because of Cameron. I started it because of him, but it took six long years. The applique wasn't what took forever. It was the hand quilting on it. So even though I'm a domestic machine quilter, that's my forte. I do know how to hand quilt, but I just really don't enjoy it anymore. My favorite thing to do is machine quilt on a home sewing machine. So this quilt is called Passion at Midnight. It's all hand appliqued and then machine quilted. It's sort of an original design. These five central designs are actually by Pacific Rim Quilt Company, but all the sashing in the border was my design. And I would say the most challenging aspect of this, well, the fact that I only bought about one yard of this fabric to begin with, but that was gonna be my focal point. That was challenging, but um, later when I came in to do the border, I had to design it. And on a traditional Hawaiian quilt, this would all be one fabric, but obviously with just a little bit of this focus fabric, I had to ad lib it. So I bought something that looked very similar and, and sort of, you know, people don't really need to know your mistakes, but I tend to tell them anyways. But it all worked out, you know, you just have to make it work. And this quilt is called Simply Santa Fe because of the colors. Um, it's an original design of mine. I love starting with a central medallion and just adding borders. Um, it's like a round robin quilt, but you just, I do it myself. So I just, I don't write anything down. I start with something, start adding, adding, adding to it and making borders fit. But um, this quilt has a lot of elaborate quilting. It's done on cherry wood hand dyed fabrics, which I love for quilting because they show off my quilting so well. And um, it won a best of show at an AQS show in Lancaster. So I'm very proud of it. So this quilt is one of my wildlife quilts. It's called When the Aspens Turn. And um, I really love elk. So I have done a couple of elk quilts. These are done with Melinda Beulah's technique of fusible um, applique and then thread painting. And this quilt was a, a big challenge for me. I had a photograph of this elk for a long time and I wasn't sure how I was going to do the aspens. Um, and, and I don't have any kind of art background, so it, it was a challenge to figure out how I was going to make it look realistic. But if anybody's ever seen an aspen tree, you know they have billions of leaves. So I didn't know how to really do that. So these aren't quite realistic, but they are recognizable as aspen trees. So it was a lot of fun. Um, once I figured out what I was going to do. So the challenge on this was just figuring out how to make the background and the um, come together. I had no idea how to do it. I had to study photographs and see what happens with um, sky and ground when they come together in the background. But it was fun. I really love my bull and he, I think he turned out really good. And the aspens are kind of cool too. So I hope if you're down here, you'll view the exhibit and see quintessential quilting quilts. And 
Enjoy all your AQS Quilt Week events.